How I Met Your Mother is one of those shows that I adored when it was first airing. It was the show that my brother and I really uh, got into and we made it kind of our thing, the way that he and I would bond when we were growing up. So the, the How I Met Your Mother finale was a big deal for both of us. And when we watched it, I think that both of us were really unsure, uncertain of how we felt about the ending. And it took a it took a little while to process it, but ultimately I think that both of us ended up on the side of that we did not care for it. And I never really had a conversation with him about why it didn't work for him. But um, after rewatching the show recently, starting around season six, knowing that the finale was coming up, I started paying much closer attention to the show itself and the character arcs and the, and the writing and, and what is going on here and setting it up for Barney and Robin to get married and Ted stepping aside. Because when I was watching the show week to week when it was first airing, I was completely thrown off in the episode where Ted uh, confesses to Robin again telling her that he loves her. Because uh, <laughs> I had already divorced myself from the idea that Ted and Robin were a thing. That, that was like so uh, season one, season two type of stuff. And when they broke up, like I was like, okay, it's over, you know. Uh, and the show would, you know, sometimes bring it back and, and remind us that Ted and Ted and Robin were a thing. And that there's the little window of them getting together with examples like the agreement uh, getting married at 40 if they haven't found anybody. So again, when that scene came out or that episode came out, I was really... Uh, uh, taken aback by it because I didn't see it coming. But now that I know how the show ends and I've rewatched the show several times and and um, I'm a little bit older, a little bit wiser, I, th I think understanding these characters and, and understanding what the writers were attempting to do here, it, it still just really feels like the finale is almost an insult to what they set up themselves in the past couple uh, seasons. I, I think that it really started with season six, but season seven is where it really honed in. Season six is where they uh, have Barney meet his dad and Barney come to terms with uh, the bachelor life not being enough for him anymore and him uh, kind of getting into the idea of wanting to settle down. And uh, season seven is where it really kind of starts to uh, hone in on that with, you know, having the show bring back uh, uh, Victoria to tell Ted that the dynamic that he has with Barney, Robin and uh, Ted, despite them all uh, having this love triangle thing going on and him having both dated Robin at different points in, in their um, in their lives. That it doesn't work that being friends with your exes and, and, and being, um, you know, uh, friends with your wiener cousins, uh, call back to scrubs, um, it doesn't work. And so that was something that was set up early on in that, in the, in that season, I believe. And then little by little, we get to see how it doesn't actually work because we have episodes like where Ted confesses to Robin and asking her if she loves him and Robin telling him that she doesn't. And, you know, having the whole setup with Barney trying to settle down and uh, ultimately deciding that Robin is the one that he wants to settle down with and going through the whole long process of, you know, ultimately getting her and winning her. Uh, over with the the Robin play, which was the show ultimately kind of becomes about the marriage between Robin and Barney and and the character arc that Ted starts to take that he has to come to terms that Robin is not the one for him. Robin doesn't love him and that he'll never get her because now she's going to marry this other man who's actually one of his best friends and uh, and him coming to terms with it because they're friends because of their friendship because if she, if if Robin and Barney weren't you know as close as they were and Barney was some other guy then yeah it, it'd be easy for her in, for him to step aside because it's not 
part of their their core dynamic it's not their group you start to see ted really start to struggle with the idea of robin and and barney getting together and and you know, getting married and him little by little separating himself stepping aside and finally acknowledging that it's not him and it won't be him and i think that the the mother playing into the show uh, when she finally comes in and when she meets uh, Ted, it's kind of like the universe finally rewarding him for letting go of this one-itis. Uh, the idea that it has to be her. It has to be Robin. And I think that the show did a really good job of doing it. Uh, you know, where Ted finally closed the door on the Married at 40 deal. You know, uh, Ted allowing Barney to give uh, Robin the something old and, and him deciding to give them a different uh, wedding present. I even think that characters like like Jeanette and uh, and Barney's uh, sister who wasn't 21 was you know Ted coping with the idea that his best friend and 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 the girl that he thought or he believes that he should be with are getting married and, and, and it's not him it's it's uh it's going into danger zone. He he is kind of living a little bit like r r reckless abandons, uh, so that uh, because he he's struggling to cope with the that very notion that his best friend is marrying the girl that he thinks that he should be with. And again, as, as I said though, that I think that the universe rewarded him when he finally did step aside <laughs> and allow. Uh, Barney and and Robin to do their thing because the idea of one night is and the idea of of there's only the one person who you believe is who you're supposed to be with is something that I don't jive well with and I think that um Josh Ratner who plays Ted uh, he he talks about often how he is very grateful for what How I Met Your Mother provided for him in real life, but he ultimately has a hard time relating to the character of Ted. I mean, by the end of the show, I think that he found a place of peace in playing the character because he was so far removed from the character and where his character arc was because he felt that the character moved too slowly. Um, he grew too slowly than the way that he grew. Where he was at in his 30s is not where he w where Ted was at or where Ted was barely getting to go uh, to get to. And I think it's this idea of believing that there is the one. Uh, the idea of the one is, is a very young person minded thing to uh to believe because life is a lot more complicated than that i think that uh, a good movie to watch for you to kind of pull this idea from is 500 days of summer where the main character there really projected this idea of the one onto this woman who straight up told him that what you want i can't provide for you but he nonetheless uh latched on to that idea and i think that ted ultimately did the same thing with robin uh despite robin being very different from him and both wanting very different things out of life uh for one him wanting you know the traditional um um, marriage and, and family where he you know he wants the wife he wants the kids he wants the home and and Robin wanting to explore the world and and you know putting her career above her love life and not wanting kids was a, a big aspect for Robin like these are all red uh, flags that the show provided for us and and Ted knowing all of these things uh, chose to ignore them and so the idea of Robin being the one for him was never really an option, but he never really let go of that idea. And the whole uh, one-itis and, and projecting the idea of the one onto a person, I feel will lead to disappointment more often than not. Um, because you just can't project that onto people. Your expectations of a person is not actually who they are. And when they don't live up to those expectations and you realize that they're a more they're a human being and they're that life's a little bit more nuanced than that it's gonna suck when they don't do the thing that you're hoping that they're that you want them to do and and when they don't 
you know, reciprocate your feelings or your ideals or your or your values, it really sucks. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, when the show finally allowed Ted to let go of Robin and we have that kind of corny scene where Robin <laughs> is the balloon that Ted, uh, young Ted, uh, let go of when he was a kid, the show or the universe, um, you know, finally set him up to meet the mother and go down that path. So when the show finally ends and, you know, it ends with the mother, uh, passing away and Ted showing up at Robin's doorstep with the blue French horn, it just feels that the character arc that Ted went through these last four years, uh, starting with season six, I'm um, going into season seven. I really think that season seven is where it hones in. It undoes those character arcs. It undoes the the moments that we shared with these characters it it um it undoes the the heartache that we saw Ted endure with him realizing or coming to terms with Robin marrying somebody off and it's not to mention all of the stuff with like some of the other characters like Barney and, and Robin getting divorced like I don't like that either but uh, sticking to the idea of Ted it it just it just sucks <laughs> And it just felt like we spent a lot of time watching this character grow and get to a point where it's okay for him to let go of Robin for him to ultimately end with Robin at the end. And it just, it doesn't, it doesn't feel right. And I know that there is a deleted scene out there somewhere where Ted and Robin uh, go to lunch and Robin basically tells Ted that like, I feel that I should have been with you. And, you know, the season, uh, season nine, uh, having moments where Robin is doubting getting married to Barney and feeling that she should be with Ted. Like, I know that there are moments in life where we do feel these, these sense of doubt and like, am I doing the right thing? And I think that that's what they were going for with Robin. But, um, to have them end up together in the end, I, I, I don't know that I think it was a good idea when, you know, just a few seasons ago, they straight up had Robin tell Ted that she doesn't love him. I don't know. <laughs> That's just something that I've been thinking about while rewatching the show. Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. I would really love to see what some of you guys think in the comment section down below about uh, Ted and Robin ending up together and kind of the, the character arcs that were set up between season six and season nine and and the direction that the show went for uh to get ted to a place where it was okay for him to date the mother and or to marry the mother and let go of, of robin let me know what you guys think down below if you like this video and you want to see more then consider subscribing to the channel i have a couple videos on the office if you guys want to watch those uh share this video out to anybody who you think might enjoy this type of uh video and this thing piece on how I met your mother. Um, I will talk to you guys in the comment section down below. Bye, ciao.